Hey guys, I know a lot of you guys including me are mostly excited for Farina and maybe not Baiju but there are still a lot of people that are looking forward to pulling for Baiju and trying him out. Just remember this is a free to play guy so no need to get his signature weapon if you can't afford it as it's really not necessary and he's a really free to play friendly character so I hope you find this guide useful and if you have any questions I will answer in the comments. You can also support me by joining and becoming a member for more exclusive videos based on your request and I will personally help you decide which character to pull for and which ones to go build for either fun or more damage potential for your teams. So keep that into consideration but I will always try to reply to all of your comments if you have any questions and without rambling any longer let's start today's video. I'd like to start off by talking about what Baiju is good for and what roles he can fulfill. Firstly he is a good healer and one of the only characters that can buff the Denver reactions and not only that he can provide a shield although it may not be the strongest shield in the game it can help with interruption resistance against regular enemies but it would probably get destroyed with one blow of these stronger enemies but it doesn't mean it's not useful. His burst will help you with its off field dendro application even though it's not as good as let's say Nahida for applying dendro in a wide AoE but it's still a great addition to every single dendro based team and in some cases outside of dendro teams for simply having a healer and since he's a catalyst user he has access to dealing dendro damage at all times so he can be a dendro reaction driver for some teams. And even though I'm not planning on getting him on my main account I can see how he can be really valuable for example in Nilo Bloom teams that I will talk about in the last section of the video is where he can really be useful and shine the most so keep in mind if you have Nilu, he can be her best party member to have. Only downsides of Baiju which is understandable is that he cannot deal significant amounts of damage since he's a support character and his kit doesn't allow him to deal a lot of damage and overall not a main DPS unit. And he requires high energy recharge for a good uptime on his burst and anything else that you might have heard as a con for this character are really minor and I wouldn't really count on them as deal breaking downsides. As a matter of fact I believe he is the most underrated Dendro character in the entire game for what he can achieve. Now let's talk about his free to play weapon option and remember how I said in the beginning that he's a free to play friendly character? I wasn't joking, he really is because you can simply use two weapons on him that are completely free. Number one is Prototype Amber which is a craftable weapon that you can have access to even as a beginner and it's the best free to play option for him since it's essentially a budget version of his signature weapon and you don't need any luck or primo gems in order to get this weapon or lose the pity on the weapon banner. We all know how cruel the weapon banner can be and another thing to keep in mind is that since he has high energy recharge requirements you will most likely need a higher refinement on this weapon to make up for it. And the second free to play option is Thrilling Tails. Now this weapon can be good to provide attack percent buff to a character of your team which in most cases would likely be a main DPS that scales with attack but this weapon does not help him with high energy requirements and the attack buff that it provides isn't really useful for dendro based teams and characters but if you don't have the materials to craft for a type amber especially for higher refinements you can use this weapon for the time being because it's basically a free three star weapon and can be useful in some situations if you have any other weapon suggestions for him let me know down below in the comments and i would love to know what your idea of a good weapon for this character is next up his artifacts there's two sets that comes to mind that i think will be good for him First one is 4 piece deep foot memories and it's necessary for dendro teams and a good set for him overall and if any other unit in your team doesn't already have it it would be even more huge for him to bring it because it simply provides 30% dendro resistance threat that equals to more damage for your dendro based teams. However Baiju is not as good as Nahida to fully utilize this set in wide AoE scenarios because he may not be able to apply this effect to all the surrounding enemies because his skill targets 3 enemies and his burst is mostly a single target attack and in Quicken teams where Baiju is the only Dendro character this set is not really useful since it only boosts his damage and as we already know he's a support character and his damage output isn't great. Next set that I would recommend is the 4 piece clamp set. This can be a good upgrade for his personal damage and the reason being is that he can consistently deal bubble damage from the artifact while his burst is active. 
Due to his large amount of healing, this can be really useful. However, this artifact set is not a team based one and I would still recommend 4 piece deep with memories for a support Baiju over this one. Now that we know about his artifact sets, what about the artifact stats? To that I would say Sand, Goblet and Surplet can all be HP percentage unless if you use Thrilling Tails for his weapon, then in that case you will need more energy recharge so having Sand with energy recharge while Goblet and Surplet remaining uh, HP percentage is a good idea. And for the subset of the artifacts, looking for elemental mastery, energy recharge and HP percentage is a good idea since having more attack and crit rate and crit damage is pointless for him and having high energy recharge of 180% is recommended as you should know when it's enough. Let's also talk about his talent leveling priority. As a healer or support, you should focus on his elemental skill and burst in the first place and don't focus on his normal attacks unless if you want him to be a main dendro reaction driver for any of your teams. Also here's a fun thing to remember about his passives. One of his passive talents will allow you to heal your characters by simply picking up plants like berries. It's always nice to have these features for any characters. Next up, let's talk about his constellations. You don't really need any of his constellations to make him useful, but if you really love this character and you have been saving up a lot of Prima gems, then the constellation that you want is C2 and you can stop there because that will boost his healing and energy recharge tremendously but if you simply want him as a healer at C0 he's more than good at doing his job so I'd say he's not reliant on constellations and it's a good news for free to play players. Here are everything that you will need to farm for him on the screen for both his talents and essential materials. You can pause the video or screenshot this image if you like to remember what you need for his character and I hope you find it useful. Now we're in the last section of the video where I will recommend three types of teams that are perfect for this character. First and the best one in my opinion is Nilu Bloom teams. If you happen to have any of these characters that I'm gonna talk about, first is Baiju of course alongside Nahida, Nilu and Shengcho, but you can also replace Shengcho with Yelon and replace Nahida with a character like Alhatham. And as you guys might be aware, for Nilu teams because of the self damage that you will inflict to yourself, because of the Dendro cores exploding rapidly, you will need a healer, but here's why it's tricky. Because for her effect to work, you will need teams that will only consist of Dendro and Hydro characters, so a healer like Baiju is perfect if you don't have, let's say, a Kakomi, or like if you don't really want to use Barbara, and the damage that you can achieve with the combination of these characters is really unbelievable and amazing. Now moving on to the second team, it's a virgin team, which once again you should have Baiju with Yelan or Shengcho, or maybe even both in one team if you have, and then the best character for virgin reactions to have in this team is Thoma. So in this team, Baiju will once again help with healing after self-inflicted damage while also applying Dendro, both on field and off field to deal a lot of damage, especially as the main driver of the reactions for this team, can really shine and bring so much value to this team. Last team that I would recommend is a Hyper Bloom team that has so many variations and I'm gonna show all the characters that are gonna be used in this team on the screen because naming them will take a while and you don't want me to read all their names repeatedly. So in this team, his off-field Dendro application will come in handy and the second Dendro character that you can see on the screen is always recommended for this team for simply having the Dendro resonance and the elemental mastery buff that you can achieve and some of these teams can also combine Quicken to add additional damage. Of course there are more ways to build and use Baiju but these were my suggestions based on my opinion and if you have any other suggestions and disagree with me please let me know in the comments and I would love to read them and I'm open to criticism so don't worry. I hope this video helped someone as it would make me really happy that I could help. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for the algorithm to notice my channel and I would highly appreciate everyone supporting me and my next video will be a condensed version of 4.2 livestream in a shorter form so you don't have to watch an hour long stream and have a better idea quickly. So see you guys in the next video. Have a good day or night and peace. Baiju, ugh, oh, that guy.